In today's video, I'm going to be taking you all on a journey on how I went from zero dollars in my bank account to over millions of dollars generated by the age of 23 years old. It sounds simple, but it was a long journey that started with humble beginnings all the way at the age of 14. I remember seeing my parents struggle to make ends meet. My father purposely wouldn't get himself food and just eat the leftovers that we had. I remember early on being worried about how much money he was going to spend because I didn't want to see him fight again with my mother. I remember that life that none of us wanted to be a part of anymore. At that moment, moment I knew without a doubt in my soul and many of you watching and listening to this right now have probably had this feeling that no matter what happens in the future it is inevitable that we will reach monetary success well fast forward to today I'm 23 years old with a few million dollar net worth and oh man has the journey been crazy ever since. I've been able to grow many six and seven figure businesses, travel all around the world, build out an ecosystem of Wiz of Ecom to hundreds of thousands of followers, built the Utopia.io, my community to 4,000 plus paying monthly members, just took care of my parents, buying them cars, paying for their bills, paying for their mortgage, and currently investing my money properly to set my family and myself up generationally and I'm still only getting started. So like this video, hit the subscribe button, and let me explain how all of this happened. So let's talk about my first desire to actually make money and get rich. I think all of us over here have probably played some sort of video game. I was addicted to RuneScape. And for all you OG RuneScape players, like and comment and comment your level down below if you played it too. I used to love the game. I focused on leveling up my skills. I increased my game's net worth. I was getting rare items like party hats and all as well. And it was the first game that taught me that hard work leads to great results. Until a point where I realized, well, there's only so much I can do in a fake reality. So my cousin introduced me to online business when we were both 14. I would sleep over at his house and he came to me with this idea of promoting affiliate offers on YouTube. And we had to understand back in the day that the algorithms were so freaking easy. All we would have to do was unlist the video on YouTube, post our affiliate link, get it to 301 plus views called the 301 method. And we were able to post it live and boom, we were the top rank for a specific keyword. We would write multiple offers and at the age of 14, we were making thousands and thousands of dollars. So what we started doing was flying over around the world. We flew to the Dominican Republic at 15 years old. Um, I remember being in my high school class. I believe it was grade 10. And I was thinking like, wow, I'm making more than my teachers. I was purchasing shoes like an absolute degenerate. I had LeBrons. I had Kobe's. Walking into school with a new pair of shoes every single day. I bought two Xbox Ones and life was just absolutely amazing but I had no idea how to manage money. So quickly that method died off. YouTube patched the algorithm strategy that we were working with and we just started blank from zero again. But that made me taste it. Tasted what online money was. I would roll to the side of my bed multiple times throughout the night. Hey, did I make any money? $2 here, $8 here. When you're in high school, that is rich money. My view on life just absolutely changed. So some of the old methods were patched up by YouTube. So what were we going to do next? Well, we didn't just sit around scratching our bum, but we started using forums online to start reading about other ways that other kids online are making money. And we started looking into Instagram automations. We found a platform called Mass Planner, which was an invite only Instagram automation software. And we were able to grow our network to millions of followers across thousands of accounts. In a matter of a few years, we decided to open our own marketing agency based off this. I had thousands of Instagram accounts just behind the scenes in the car niche. I remember we had Lamborghini accounts, Audi accounts. So we decided to start focusing on an agency. People were willing to pay us money to actually grow their accounts for them. We grew massive brands, one of them being a multiple nine figure brand, one being a 10 figure brand that is a publicly traded company as well too. We were able to take one of their sectors and run their entire Instagram account within their music niche. At this point, I was still in 16 i was applying for university and i'm like you know what well, my parents want me to go so badly so i decided to go i went to university for one year made some of the best friends and best memories of my entire life but my business was not a priority i had absolutely no money coming in because that I wasn't a focus of mine anymore. I was failing university. I remember my friends having to pay for me to buy a Panzerati at a pizza place. I was embarrassed. I was tired. I was fighting with my parents day and night. We couldn't see eye to eye. It was probably the most depressing and worst 
worst time of my life. And there's so much more that happened that I just can't explain inside of a YouTube video. So what I decided to do is at the age of 17, while I dropped out of university after my first year, I, I reached out to one of my old clients and we both decided together that it's time that we both partner up. So three weeks after I dropped out of university, I flew to Pakistan to his company. He had about 15, 20 employees already, and we grew it to 75 by the time I left with all the SaaSs, the Shopify apps, the e-com brands, and the agency. We started primarily with SaaS products, but realized how expensive they were. I was living in an eight by eight room inside of my office with no windows for years of my life. I flew there at 17 years old and I stayed there for four and a half months, no return ticket, no idea how I was going to come home, but I decided that, you know what, this was going to be the move for myself to challenge myself. I'm a young kid. I have the opportunity to do something beautiful with my life and take this risk. I stayed there without a return ticket. It took us four months to actually make the money back to be able to fly me back home. We realized how expensive SaaS was, so we started e-commerce. We filled a 12th e-commerce store until we had our first profitable one. Then we started scaling e-commerce brands to realize we can make our own softwares to improve our e-com brands. So we started developing applications for this. We thought they were so good, so we started launching them into the Shopify app store. One of them had thousands of users on it as well too. Use all of this cash flow to scale the company, and then we decided, hey, we're great at what we do. Why don't we offer this out as a service. So in 2019, my business partner and I would fly around all over the United States and close deals. Clients would be paying us $25,000 on a monthly basis for a full service e-commerce agency. And some of these guys are actually on Twitter to this date, which is so cool to see now. So we started closing these deals and I had real money coming into the company, but myself personally, I didn't have a lot. I was an equity partner, but I wasn't 50, 50. I owed small percentages of every single company that came in. And I was convinced that it was good for us to be able to keep the money in the company. So I wasn't taking much home to myself. So by the time of the end of 2019, I realized I wasn't happy. My partner and I did not see eye to eye and to say the least and to bore you from all the drama, it got really ugly between us. So what I did from this moment is I flew to Mexico in the beginning of 2020, right before the pandemic. And I decided that I needed some time for myself. I stayed there for a few weeks. I meditated. I thought to myself, well, what's going on? And I realized this is no way to live. So by March of 2020, I dissolved the partnership. It was the most difficult experience of my life when it came to business. I was threatened. I was, and I was, we were getting fought with back and forth from my current partner. It was absolutely hell, but my partner is the only individual who's ever mentored me to that scale. So I was always conflicted. So by March of 2020, I was finally able to sever my ties from the company and I started fresh blank at zero. What did I do from this point on? This is where I began the Wiz of Ecom ecosystem. If you've been here long enough, you know my original name was Earned from Ecom. I was e-commerce obsessed, but I just didn't like the profit margins anymore. I was subscription-based, community-based companies obsessed, but I had no idea how to implement this. So I became a little selfish with my Twitter account and I thought to myself, what can I do? What can I do to think of better business models and talk to people who are actually making money? Let me make my own community. I've been in communities and forums my entire life. Since 14 years old, the first dollar I made online was because of forums. If I can create a better variation of this and help other people and selfishly learn from other people as well too, what's stopping me? So in April on 2020, I decided to launch the Utopia. I had a huge hype campaign leveraging all my friends that I've made online and were able to reach millions of eyes collectively for the launch. And to remind you, at that time, I only had about three, 4,000 followers. On the first launch day, which was May 1st, we hit 100 paying members right off the bat. Simultaneously, I needed to get myself back up to $10,000 a month as soon as possible. So I launched an email marketing agency because it is something at that time that wasn't as saturated but I had a lot of experience in. So I used that in my old network to tap into some clients and I started doing client work for them simultaneously while growing my own personal brand. Personal brand I knew was a long, long, long journey. And if I'm being truly honest with you guys, I only hit $6,000 monthly recurring revenue after six months for Utopia. Imagine doing something for six months and only getting $6,000 a month with the experience I had. It was daunting. It was scary. It was not fulfilling for myself at the time. So I had 
decided to put that in the back burner. I had an idea for a SaaS. I spoke to a, a potential prospect business partner and we went back and forth and we decided to partner up on it. And that SaaS we launched had a huge hype campaign, had difficulties with the AI software that we were actually using with it. We launched it, we grew it, we failed. We launched it, we grew it, we failed. Build. simultaneously i had my agencies in the background simultaneously we're growing the utopia that my community that i had but all of those were time-based and i just realized that wow i am in a period of patience at this point i started making some money again i'm sitting around 30 40 thousand dollars on a monthly basis and i realized that i can start using this money to scale even faster i invested in the team i started growing my team all around the world based off of the people i met inside the utopia right now we're employing 11 total people on the team and we're generating well over six figures on a monthly basis because of the sacrifice and the leap I was able to make. And the biggest lesson that I learned from all of this was how crazy is it that something that I was practicing and learning and experiencing years ago would so perfectly align into my life today. Today, I'm looking back at it all. I was building communities. I showed this on Twitter. I was building communities four or five years ago. I was working on subscription brands four or five years ago. I was working on e-commerce brands and marketing agencies four or five years ago. And now I'm able to to run it all for myself without having to bend my knees for absolutely anyone. And this is what brings me joy. I'm working with people every day to help them reach $10,000 a month because of the utopia, the IO. I'm able to reach eight to 10 million people every single month because of what I've been able to patiently create throughout all these years. But in the moment, it was the most difficult thing I've ever had to experience. How difficult is it to see no results, no fruit, being reaped for all the effort you've been putting in for years and years and years. You finally make something and it's taken away from you. You're finally able to see results and someone else is telling you, no, it's not your results, but you're finally able to put in the work because you believed in yourself. I remember my business partner, the ex one from when I was working at the old marketing agency with the SaaS and all, he told me, I promise you, I will give you a million dollars contractually profit, net profit. I will give it to you, hand it to your account in three years. If you stay with me back in 2020, I declared declined the offer and I smiled. I remember looking at my father when I told him this and I told him, it's crazy that he believes I won't make over a million dollars myself. And by this point, I have generated well, well over a million dollars in profit since that time frame. And we're only just getting started. My biggest piece of advice is you guys got to get your reps in and your experience. And the thing about imposter syndrome that so many people complain about is you have imposter syndrome because you are not consistently putting the work and leveling up your knowledge. I have been working on whatever I've been doing since 14 years old. I've always been curious always asking questions, wiggling my way into events, speaking to thousands of people every single month, going up. To, and this is since 2018, 2019. This isn't luck. Every single day trying to learn from someone new through my curiosity. And I just sit there learning, taking notes. You guys have to be able to get your reps in. You guys have to be able to take the leaps because no one will ever believe in you the way that you believe in yourself. And I'm so grateful to be able to say that I'm happy and I'm fulfilled with where I am in life. And I know that this is only the beginning. I'm not saying any of this to brag. I'm not saying any of this to gloat. I'm saying all of this to actually first time ever share my journey with you all. So you guys understand who I am and what I've been able to build alongside this entire journey and how you guys are going to be able to do this as well too. If you keep yourself inspired and build the right habits around the North star that you guys are trying to reach towards. I want to thank you all for everything that you guys have ever done for me. And I also want to thank you all for liking and commenting on this video. I will be sharing a lot more about my journey within this near future. And if this video gets a thousand likes, I might even break my anonymous status, my friends. But that being said, this is going to be the end of today's video. If you guys want to check out what I have been building, check out the description below. I have a community of 4,000 active paying monthly members. We're all entrepreneurs learning to build actual real wealth online from zero. And you guys could go ahead and start your marketing journeys today to build your own profitable business online by clicking theutopia.io below. Take it easy, my friends. Bye-bye.